Hello everybody, it's been a while since I've done a Fractured update, so here I am now for just a really quick one. Now, um, last time I was on camera, I, it was around the middle of June, and I said that I was going to miss my deadline for the first draft. The, the, um, the original deadline was the 13th of June, um, and I finished the first draft on the 20th of August, so I'm about a month and a half behind, but hey, it's done. The first draft of the script is finished. It's a lot longer than I originally thought it would be. Um, but what I'm going to do, instead of just going straight into it and editing it and all that for a second draft, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to leave it for a few days. I'm going away for to a wedding for a few days, so that will give me some time to distance myself from the script so I can come back with a, a bit more of a fresh perspective. Um, so, because if you, you can't really critique your own work too much because you're too attached to it. You'll see a perspective on it that other people won't and you'll find excuses, you'll try and defend it. Um, but you've got to keep in mind the audience that's going, that it's going to appear before. So what I'm going to do, distance myself from it, then come back and maybe trim a bit, give the dialogue a bit more, a bit more of a punch, and hopefully, um, well I'm not, well because the, the second draft will be done a lot faster than faster than the first because it's not going to be a complete written thing it's just going to be a bit of rejiggering a few edits uh, for example without spoiling the plot um, well, you, you know the basic synopsis that um, Ian is going to be devoting his free time to ruining this girl's life um, in my notes in my massive folder um, I, I wrote down a plot point of how um, he uses uh, I'm not going to give everything away but he's going to use cigarettes in a way to start ruining her life from behind the scenes, that's one aspect. Um, in the script, I set it up, but it never has a punchline. I kind of forgot about that plot point while I was writing the third act, so that never really has a conclusion. So in the second draft, I've either got to remove the setup, either somehow make it relevant, or somehow find a way to include that final punchline, in a way. Try and make it justify its existence. Um, yeah, the the draft, the first draft is, well, I'm, I'm aiming for around a half an hour film, but it seems that with the script it's going to be maybe 35 to 40 minutes. But what I'm going to do is when I'm filming, I'm going to film all of the written material, um, and then if I have to cut it out, then I can do it in the editing room. I'd rather have too much footage that I can take out, or, not, or I'd rather have that than not have enough footage and have to do reshoots, which... We won't have time for because my actors are volunteering of course and they've got other stuff to do, they've got their own projects, so I don't want them to be working on my project for longer than they have to. So yeah, I'm going to stay away from the project for a few days and um, thanks a lot for all your continuous support, I keep on getting messages saying how's the project going, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Um, I'm just really flattered that a lot of people are interested in seeing me make this film when I really have no prior experience or that then I watch a crap ton of movies. But as Quentin Tarantino said, I didn't go to film school, I went to films. So, who knows, maybe that'll be enough. But um, thanks a lot for your, all your support, I'll be updating within the next few days as to how exactly I'm punching up the second draft. And uh, yeah, just an update, the first draft is done, so we're at least going into production with a script. Even if it's not the most polished script, there is a script. So that automatically makes us better than Men in Black 3, Transformers 2 and Jurassic Park 3. So yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good. And yeah, casting begins next month. I am um, currently looking for six male actors and six female actors. But more on that in future updates, where um, hopefully when I'm shooting and when I'm actually, you know, getting my hands dirty and not just writing behind a laptop, um, I'll be able to do more of these as a, like, a behind the scenes, like, videos and all that. So, yeah, that's all from me. I'm going to stop rambling, and um, I shall see you guys next time.